no slide nollie heel flips. In order to do this trick, you need to have some fundamentals. So the first thing is you gotta have a solid nose slide. You gotta have a solid nollie heel flip. And then, almost more important than anything else, you need to know how to nollie out of your nose slides already. If you can't do those very well, you're not gonna be able to nollie heel flip out. Once you've got those basics down, the next thing you're gonna need is wax and lots of it. If you're hanging up at all on your slides, it makes it really hard to keep your footing solid enough in order to do a nollie heel flip out of your slide. So lots of wax, especially on the wheels. I personally find this to be the easiest slide flip out because it combines two of my most basic and easiest tricks that I like to do. So a nose slide and an ollie heel flip, both of which I have pretty solid. And the reason I find it to be the easiest is it's the easiest one to set your foot up in midair and hold and flip out. So this is the key here. The key is to get your foot into heel flip position in midair. So the reason I find these easier than other slide flip out is because when you jump in, it's pretty easy to go from this foot positioning to just moving your foot up to right there into heel flip. Now of course you don't have to hang off that much, you could have just your toes off. It kind of varies every time for me just a little bit. You know a lot of people they do their heel flips like from an ollie position. So that's going to change where you put your foot exactly, but the point is it's really easy to get your foot from here to here and it's also a very stable position. You still have most of your foot on your board. Before we get to the actual flip out, let's get to the front foot. In order to make these look good and sound good, you're gonna need to learn how to not drag your heel so much. But if you drag your heel, you're gonna do two things. You're gonna slow yourself down, which is gonna mess up your flip out, and you're not gonna be in the ideal position to pop out. So you need to be on the ball of your foot. Obviously this is exaggerated, but what I mean is you need to be ready to spring. So the mechanical action is obviously just by like going like this. So people might wonder, well, how do you ollie when you don't have all that space? Like how do you get the space to do it? It's just this simple motion right here. Again, if you know how to nollie out of your slides, you're not gonna be wondering how to get a pop out of there. Start practicing, it'll happen naturally. If you don't have your footing right, don't bother. They're a hit or miss trick, you know? To get them every try is pretty challenging and they're not gonna be nice every try. So the next step is to land it. Because you have less room to actually pop, you also have to learn how to do a less exaggerated flick. So it's a quick little flick instead of like trying to throw it over a trash can. After that, you can start doing some variations and having fun with it. And that's about all I have to say about doing the trick. So the next thing, if we want to get a little technical about gear, so some things that can make this work nicely, like for example with this setup, I got an 8 inch FA, so it's nice and skinny so I can flip it out pretty easy. It's got a big square nose so there's lots of room for my feet which is less heel drag and just a little more security. Also it's like big and poppy. I got some indies going on here so the base plate is nice and slidey. I'm not hanging up on sticky wheels or anything. And on top of all that, I don't know, just get out there and learn it if you want them. You know what? What you focus on expands. So get out there, make that trick happen. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you got something useful out of this tutorial. I know it's been ages since I did one of these, but you can expect more to come.
So thanks for watching and till the next video. Now skate, cause it's literally the best ever. Bye.